We can all help preserve our water quality and resources by incorporating LID techniques in local residential and commercial development. LID stands for Low Impact Development, and as County Environmental Protection's Stacy Greco is about to show us, the techniques are making a difference in Alachua County. I'm in Jonesville at Northwest 140th Terrace with Mark Clark, IFIS Extension Specialist, looking at an innovative median. What's different about this median? Well, we hope to see a lot more of these types of medians. And one of the aspects of managing stormwater as a result of development is to deal with the increased runoff. And typically, or the traditional way of dealing with that runoff would be to send it to the curb, run it down the curb into a storm drain, and then that storm drain goes underground to some sort of stormwater basin that might be quite a ways away from the actual source of that runoff. Well, these medians typically are built up and no water moves into them. This particular medium is actually down below the pavement surface. So instead of water going directly to the stormwater basin, first it comes into here, and a large percentage of that water can actually infiltrate right here, right near the point of impervious. So this is much more um, like the natural way the water would have found its way into the soil to support that surficial groundwater. And in the meantime, you're actually trapping some of the contaminants as well. The soil is actually acting as a filter, as well as some of the organic material that's put into this basin, as well as the plant material. What type of contaminants are we talking about? Well, mostly when we're talking about road surfaces, it's usually particulate matter associated with sand and silt. If you've got a leaky oil pan, it might be some hydrocarbons, oil and things like that. Plus there's atmospheric deposition. There's a certain amount of nutrients and things uh, from the atmosphere, and there's also some heavy metals. Now, if there's runoff from landscaping areas, we could also have fertilizers and nutrients. Okay, so all of those pollutants get trapped here. What happens if this gets really full? Well, there's two ways the water can come out. In this particular basin, there's actually an overflow storm drain, which you see here in the middle. So once the water level comes up in here to a certain point, it'll actually enter the storm drain and then still run to that stormwater basin, that more conventional design. But for the smaller storms, all of that water gets captured right here and is allowed to infiltrate. And again, trying to mimic that pre-development condition much better. Okay, so the water goes down that if it gets filled up in here and then goes to a traditional basin. Right, you can see it's only about maybe six inches above. In fact, you know, one of the, the ways to increase the storage here would be to raise that up a little bit higher, get a little more additional storage in here before that water pops off and goes into that traditional basin. This is attractive too. I know some of the medians with the grass on it are really hard to mow and all those clippings go in the roadways and they have a hard time managing that because that's pollution too. Right. And these plants will be aesthetically pleasing um, and they're also providing a function in here. They're actually helping to treat the water. They're taking up nutrients, they're providing some organic matter. That organic matter finds its way into the soil. The microbes, the bacteria, which a lot of times we think of as we don't like, but they're actually doing a lot of work for us. They're actually helping to treat some of those pollutants. And so doing this, treating the stormwater in this local basin, this is called low impact development? This is one of many, many practices associated with low impact development. And um, what you're trying to do is create a treatment train. So as water's moving from a, a, a source of contamination or runoff, you're trying to put all sorts of things in, in the way of its path to treat the water, to allow the water to infiltrate before it actually makes it to that more traditional basin. Okay, great. Well, thanks for coming out and talking with us today. Oh, you're welcome. If you'd like to learn more about stormwater and low impact development techniques such as rain gardens and rain barrels, please visit the website on your screen. <laughs>